Hey! It's Briggs R. And they might be Bricks. And we hope you can hear us. I do too. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a Lego haul and we're going to go over just briefly our thoughts on the Lego Batman movie. So we got a few things here uh, that I've picked up. I think a couple of them re definitely relate to the Lego Batman movie. So we're doing this live. I'm trying to do more of these uh, live streams. So we'll keep it short. Try not to get into too many spoilers with the Lego Batman movie. But honestly, I don't think there's anything that you can spoil with this movie. What do you think about that? Yeah, that is true. Except, you know, with the... Um, that w Yeah. <laughs> Uh, whatever i don't know um anyway so we got a few things went to toys r us before the lego batman movie to get my free admission to the Le lego batman movie you had to buy 40 dollars worth of sets so i did that uh boy it took me like 30 minutes because there's nothing there i wanted to get yeah <laughs> okay especially at the prices that they charge i actually paid a little bit too much so we got Clayface, which was actually a little high. Hey, Adam Spawn is here. Yo. Awesome. And we got Shaw Coggin. I saw the Brick Maniac earlier and Jonathan Risen. So, oh, so y'all haven't got the Lego Batman movie yet for a while in Australia. So, we're not going to really get into any spoilers. I will just say this. Um, I think the sets got me really hyped up for the movie. Yeah, that is very true. Because there were some really awesome sets, and I still do like the sets. Me and too. Pretty much all of them were in the movie, too, mm -hmm. right? I think we were... Everything was so fast, though. It was like boom, 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 boom. If you, if you blinked, you missed something. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> so, um, I think I got the movie overhyped. Yes. So, first of all, let's say... The Lego Movie mm -hmm. and the Lego Batman Movie. Which is the best? Lego Movie. Is there any question there? No. No. Now, was the Lego Batman Movie good? Yes. Yes. Uh, was it funny? Yes. Was it as good as you expected? No. No. All right. And that's the way I feel. And I, I may be being a little overly critical <laughs> of the Lego Batman Movie. We may have to see it a couple times because that's yeah. the other some movies we don't like with Jurassic World. We were kind of iffy the first time that we saw the game. We really liked it. Yeah, yeah. Now, and they did do things. Uh, for instance, they did reference every live action Batman movie ever. They I did. mean, ever, including the ones that people forgot about. They did perfect with the references, the jokes, and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, perfect. So that was they could have done better. Yeah, and we did get a glimpse of something, and I, I won't spoil it. Yeah. There's something that I'm hoping they make a, as a Lego set. I do, too. It doesn't have to be a Batman movie related, too, or anything. Batman. There were two th things in particular. One that I know you mentioned that they did have in the movie that was mm. in a, one of the previews as well. Yes. Trailers. Um, and then the one thing that was at the Joker's place. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping those become sets. I'll be very thrilled. But I'll say, I, I guess it was a good movie, entertaining movie. I fell asleep at one point. <laughs> and but uh, it it is worth going to see it but i'm just it was not nearly as good as the lego movie all right so let's get into the hall if y'all have any other questions oh look there's mighty bricks <laughs> yeah mighty bricks <laughs> that's um because of the way uh twitter is that's your uh, your twitter account is mighty bricks yeah i might I'm, i'll see if i can change it to them up your bricks this is the first time i don't think i don't know yeah. Oh, there's also going to be another Lego movie spinoff that's called The Billion Brick Race, I think. But I don't know what it's going to be about. Oh, I don't know. The Ninjago movie, um, I don't really anticipate going to see that. I may, but... But surprisingly, it did look kind of funny. The, the, yeah. the, uh, the trailer was funny. Yeah. Laloid. Yeah. How could I have ruined your life? I was never there. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right, so let's do the haul. And I'll try to get back and look at some of your comments. Uh, a lot of people have been commenting here. And so we already showed this. I got this so I could get into the movie for free. Mm -hmm. I paid too much for it. <laughs> uh, and then I went to the Toys R Us build. I didn't actually build anything. They're still in the, the bag. So why don't they might be bricks? Why don't you work on that? I'll okay, move it over here where they can see you work on. This is the Emmett's car Batmobile. And I picked up a few other things there that were a little overpriced. I got the first order general. 
I got the this this is marked down to three dollars now. The, I do like the mini Batmobile builds that they do, like the tumbler and that. Yeah, I missed the other Batmobile. They it was free with purchase. They did not have it there. Uh, and then I got this. What is this? Rebel A Wing Pilot. So that's what I got at Toys R Us. We went over to uh, Target. I picked up this Crossbone Hazard Heist. It was fourteen dollars. And we picked up this Kylo Ren shuttle, three fifty. I wasn't sure. It's overpriced, but I wasn't yes. sure if I had it. Dansby Swanson. All right. Uh, so while he's working on that, we will get over to the box. So I'll get out of your way. So, where's the cutters? There's the cutters. This is from Lego Shop at Home. Oh, really? Yes. I was at home and I did some shopping. And I that is this. awesome. <laughs> More bubble wrap. Can you guess what I bought? Uh, let me guess before I see it. Well, I already saw the flexi track, so. <laughs> <laughs> we got some more train track, mm -hmm. which still can, I never can get it marked down. Um, so I got two more boxes of train track. I got the brick calendar. That's cool. Somebody, somewhere somebody called this like the iconic brick calendar, but it's the brick calendar. It kind of looks like it could be a clock. <laughs> like a digital, not digital, but one of those clocks that flip. Hey, there's Megan H. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> and we got um, this. Oh, this is one of these little packs. Oh, these are the two guys that had the pretzel and... Uh, they were fighting over the pretzel in yeah. the movie. That was pretty funny. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. If you focused on what was in the front, sometimes you might be missing the funny stuff in that movie. That's definitely, you got to see it several times to get everything. Mm. And... There's the I'm, poster. And I love how they overdo with the detail. Yeah, it's like okay. sometimes you can see like it, imperfections in the plastic, which I thought that was pretty neat. They do amazing with that. All right. I picked up one of these. Why did I get... Oh, this was the free item. Oh, yeah. That's the kryptonite animal Nick thing. Plays and Robbie Blocks is here. That was free with the purchase of one of the... You had to buy... Um, <laughs> A DC superhero friends or girls, and so I, I picked the uh, one of the cheapest ones there. So that was that. Let's just see what else is in here. Stuff for parents, and I got two invoices in here. Changing. Why do I have two invoices in? Two tracks. Huh. Interesting. All right. So that's the Lego Shop at Home haul. Why aren't you done building that yet? You're supposed to be fast. Oh, uh, sorry. These instructions are hard to see. Oh. So who has seen the Lego movie yet, and what did you think of it? The Lego Batman movie. The Lego Batman movie, not the Lego movie. Thank you, Adam, for sharing the link to the video, or retweeting the tweet. I appreciate that. So we'll go maybe about 10 more minutes on this live stream. Hopefully, you'll have that built in before then. I will. <laughs> I'm almost done. Oh, no. Joshua said his won't load. That stinks. So I got an extra one of these things. Oh, so Lego Freak hasn't seen it. LRT, I think, agreed with us. Ranger 18 has not seen it. We'll see it next week. Nick Plays hasn't seen it. Ryan Luthi saw it today. It was great, but not as great as Lego Movie. So he feels the same way we did. Yeah. Did you get the Disco Batman? That's going to be in my next order, Robbie Blocks, the Warwicks. So I thought it was good, funny, but not as great as Lego. But I think that's going to be the general consensus. Yeah. I think that's why everybody's going to think that the Lego Batman movie... Not, it, it is worth seeing, but I just... Diesel Railcar Productions hasn't seen it yet. I don't know if I'm going to go through the trouble trying to get all these posters because you got to, you know, each week they have a different poster. I don't know if I'll worry about getting them all. But I did want to get that. That is pretty cool. Built the bad signal. I guess I could build this while you build that. Mm -hmm. Sean Coggan liked it because it was different. Lego Freak says it's lagging again. <laughs> The movie? Or not? <laughs> Probably my internet. Who knows? 
<laughs> yes, we. It says I got a good connection. There it is. Let's get down. The Batwing Lego car. Ooh. Did it come? It didn't come with a minifigure. Nope. Oh, I wonder if they were giving away minifigures too. She had a box of minifigures. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ranger Eighteen says, you, "I know you're not a um, Ninjago not fan, fan, but what you, what were your thoughts on the trailer?" I was the entire trailer entertained me, so yes. I will say that <laughs> I love the whole trailer. I love the um, that shark ship yes. that was in it. Garmadon's little ship, yeah. Yeah, I love the humor that was in it, especially my favorite part was the Lloyd joke. Yeah, L L O Y D. I named you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Um, I'm just, yeah, I don't know if I want to see the movie, but if they're gonna, make, they'll make it funny. But, yeah. Um, so it, I'm sure it'd be worth seeing, but I'm just torn as to whether or not I'm going to go see it. Yes, I agree. All right, now I got to build the bat signal. Babs. <laughs> The bad signal. All right. Oh, good. Ooh, it's a printed tile. Lloyd. Backing up. Backing up. <laughs> yeah. Backing. Up. So, um, what are your thoughts on changing uh, comic book companies? So I saw they began production of the Infinity War. Did you watch the full video? I watched the video that had Robert Downey Jr. and Star Lord and Spider Man. Spider Man. I did watch it. Why is Spider Man British? He was like talking. He sounded British. Is he British or has he got an accent? He's British, but in the movie he speaks like an uh, English person. Why well, can't they find somebody in the USA to play Spider Man? Well, they tried. <laughs> so. I think they were overhyping it in that that uh, video. I mean, I'm overhyped. I mean, I I think I'm excited. Yeah. Like, because you know, Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be in it, and they finally like confirmed all that. That they, they also Spider Man. They didn't really confirm he was going to be in the movie, like in the cast. Mm -hmm. And when they made that, people are like, okay, good, he's going to be in it. Spider Man. Yeah. Wait, wait. You're putting, okay, make sure you're putting that right side. So. Yeah, so I, I I don't know how I feel about that. Extract, I meant. Oh, I missed your comment. Let me go back. How do you go back and see the old comments? Spider-Man is a slack jaw Rhode Island, New England person. They all sound British to me. <laughs> You think the ninja are different from the show? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because Lego are trying to also extract non ninjago fans. Yeah, they did. They uh, my friend uh, he does some live streams with me. Flashes thirteen. He uh he noticed that because he watched some of the episodes that they have different voices like Jackie Chan. He's playing the Dude Master Wu. Yeah. But he was they couldn't afford him for the show. Um. But um. So they got different characters. They got different, yeah, different voices playing the cast to separate the universes. All right, so here is the, what set number is this? Does it have a set number? 853651. Who is this? What was her name in the show? When she, they, when they interviewing her, or she was talking, it doesn't say. Hmm. Hello, Juan Carlos from Colombia. But these two guys, I think, when she talking and they were fighting over a pretzel. It was actually, it was Barbara Gordon talking and they. Oh, okay. And who is she? I remember name? seeing her in the movie, but I can't. They got a lot of good printing, side printing. I think she was the one that was announcing. Well, in the movie. Mm -hmm. Nice. There's the scuttler. Yeah, the scuttler was used heavily in the movie. Mm -hmm. He's also going to be in J the Justice League movie. He looked like a character instead of a, <laughs> yeah. of a, a vehicle. So, anyway, whoops. 
Oh yeah, the, the, uh, those they had Matrix characters in there. Oh yeah, those. Cool Although names. all the stuff from licensed themes like that, like most of those things, they did not directly call them by their names. Like uh, the dialects were never called dialects. And, but you heard them go exterminate and all and, that. And Iron Man was mentioned. Yeah, he was actually <laughs> twice. So anyway, well, I th I think that's enough for this live stream. <laughs> I'm going to go play with slot cars now. So Me we're going too. to head over to Brickstar Toys and play with the uh, slot cars. So get ready for that in about 10 or 15 minutes. It'll be over on Brickstar Toys. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll get a few more comments here before we end. Lego Freak is talking to Lego Ranger 18. Okay, Adam says, here we go to Brickstar Toys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you were able to get your free... Emmett's car, Batmobile, Batwing thing, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.